Presta quesumus, ut per eus genetrice Virginem Maria, perpetue capiamus gaudia vitae, per eundum Christum Dominum nostrum. Confitebo tibi in populis domine, et narabo nomen tuum fratribus meis. Alleluia. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritui Sancti. Nomine Sobus. Fratre Zanestamus peccata nostra, et accisimo peccata nascere a celebrare. Confiteor, Deo Omnipotenti, et vobis ratres, quia peccavi nimis cogitatione, verbo opere et omissione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, ideo preco beata Mariam semper virginem, omnes angelos et sanctos, et vos ratres, errare pro me ad dominum Deum nostri. Misereato nostri onipotens Deus et omissis peccatis nostris, Perducat nos ad vitam eterna. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Oremus. Annua recolentes mysteria, quibus per renovatam originis dignitatem humana substantia spem resurrectionis ac cepit, clementiam tuam domine supplicite exoramus, ut quod fide recolimus perpetua delectione capiamus. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, qui tecum vivit et reniat nunitate Spiritus Sancti, Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompted by jealousy, they arrested the apostles and had them put in the common jail. But at night, the angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and said as he led them out, go and stand in the temple and tell all the people about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin, this was the full senate of Israel, and sent to the jail for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found they were not inside, so they went back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the wardens on duty at the gates, but when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard this news, they wondered what this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The word of the Lord. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The Lord, the humble, shall hear and be glad. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from all his distress. 
This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everyone who does wrong hates the light and avoids it for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. In those words from the third chapter of St. John, verse 16, and indeed 17, we have, if you like, what the gospel is all about. God loved the world so much that he gave, that he gave his only son. And why? So that all who truly believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, the life of the future, of the age to come. When we look at this world, we can see so much badness, so much wickedness, but we must remember God loved the world so much. When we look at the church, we see there's such a mess, there's so, so much that's bad. Let's remember that Christ loved her and gave himself up for her. And when we look at ourselves, when I look at myself, I think I'm bad. But then I remember that the Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. That is our faith. That is our hope. Something we all share. This love of God for us for the church, for the world. So we need never be discouraged, no matter how bad things seem to be in the world, in the church, in our souls. Because God is love. And those who live in love, St. John tells us, live in God, and God lives in them. We wish to live in the light which Christ has brought into the world. To turn aside from things of darkness. To live in the light, to live the freedom of the sons and daughters of God who don't have to hide and skulk about in the dark so that people will see as St. John's, as our Lord says, that what we do is done in God. Work in progress, yes, but that's all right. That's what conversion is about, really. I think 
it means, as transformation means really, becoming. And we're in process of becoming truly the sons and daughters of God, whom God loves so much. Amen. Deus qui nos per uius sacrifici venerande comercia, unius semeque divinitatis participes efficisti, presta quesimus ut sicut tuam coniovimus veritatem, sic eam dignis moribus asequamur, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Dominus Obiscum, Sorsum Corda, Gratias Agamus Domino Deo Nostrum, Vere dignum et justum est, equum et salutare, te quidem domini omnitempore confiteri, sed in hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare, cum pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus. Perquem in eternam vitam filii lucis oriuntur, et regni celestis atria fidelibus resarantur. Quia mors nostra est eus morte redempta, et in eus resurrectione vita omnium resurrexit. Qua propter profusis pascadibus gaudiis, totus in orbe terrarum mundus exultat, sed et superne virtutes atque angelice potestates, imnum gloriae tue concinunt, sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaot, plenis uncelie terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Vere sanctus es Domini, et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura, 
quia per filium tuum, Dominum nostrum, Jesum Christum, Spiritus Sancto operante virtute, glorificas et sanctificas universa, et populum tibi congregare non desinis, ut a solis orte usque casum, ablatio mundo offerato in nomine tuum. Supplices ergo te domine deprecamo, ut eic munera quae tibi sacrante de tulimus, eodem spiritu sanctificare dineri, sit corpus et sanguis fiat filii tui domine nostri, Iesu Christi, cuius mandato eic misteria celebramus. Ipse enim in qua nocte tradabatua, accepit pane, et tibi gratias agens benedixit, fregit, Dedit quae discipuli suis dicens, accipite, et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meo, quod provobis tradetu. Conchonatum est. Accipiens calice, me tibi gratias agens benedixit, deditque discipulis suis dicens, accipite et bibite ex eo omnes. Ic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui pro vopis et pro mutis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Oc facite in meam commemoratio. Misterium Fidei, mortem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confitemur donec venias. Memores igitur Domine eustem filii tui salutifere passionis, nec non mirabilis resurrectionis, et ascensionis in cenum, sed et prestelantes alterum eus adventum, offerimus tibi gratias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum et sanctum. Respice quesumus in oblationem ecclesiae tue, et in Joscens ostiam cuius voluisti imolatione placari. Concede, ut qui corpore et sanguine fili, tui reficimur spiritu eus sancto repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus inveniamur in Christo. Ipse nos tibi perficiat munus eternum, ut cum electis tuis ereditatem consequivale amus, in primis, cum beatissima ar Virgine Dei Genetrice Maria, cum beata Iosef eus sponsor, cum beatis apostolis tuis e gloriosis martiribus, cum sancto Filippo et omnibus sanctis quorum intercessione perpetua apud te confidimus adjuvare. E coste nostri reconciliationis profici ad quesumus Domine, ad totius mundi pacem ad quesolutem. Ecclesiam tuam peregrinantem in terra, in fide et caritate firmare dinieris, cum famulo tuo Papa nostro Francisco et antistato nostro Bernardo, cum episcopali ordine et universo clero et omni popolo acquisitionis tue. Votis uius familiae quam tibi astare voluisti ad esto propitius. Omnes filios tuus ubique dispersos tibi clemens pater miseratus condiunge. Fratres nostros defunctus, et omnes qui tibi placentes ex hoc secula transierunt, in regnum tuum benignus admite. Ubi fore speramus, ut simul gloria tua perenites ad theemo. Per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem mundo bona cumta margiris. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnis ono et gloria, per omnia secula seculor.
Preceptis salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati ademus dicere, Pater nostra, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat renium tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimita nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amare. Libera nos quesimus domine ab omnibus malis, da propitium putius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordiae tui adiuti, et applicatus simus semper liberi, et ab omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatam spem et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Domine Iesu Christe, tu quid existi apostolis tuis, patrem relinquo vobis, patrem meam do vobis. Ne respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tui. Neam que secundum voluntatem tuam pacificare et quadronare dinieris, qui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculorum. Pax Domini, sed semper vobis. On your stay, the tallest Picatum and On your stay, the tallest Picatum and On your stay. Oh, yeah, this part.
Dicit Dominus, ego vos elegi de mundo, et osui vos ut eatis, et fructum efferatis, et fructus vestae maneat. Alleluia. Oremus. Popolo tuo quesimus domini ad esto propitius, et quem misteriis celestibus imbuisti, fac ad novitatem vitae de vetustate transire, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Dominus Sobus, et vita vos omnipotente, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sancto, Amen. Ite, Misa, Es. Amen.